Hey there, Vishon the Tough Mama's back and we are working on a summer project today. And what it is, is I found a new way to recycle or upcycle as we like to call it, some patio chairs. I don't know if you, you've seen them and I'll show you some pictures here in just a moment of these chairs that you get with a patio table and umbrella and they usually have some kind of nylon fabric that's in those well we have some very old ones and the nylon has dry rotted and, and torn and i found a way to replace that with pallet wood yes pallet wood so check it out on this video i'm going to show you what i did so that you can do it too Hey there, when you are cutting out your, your nylon fabric from your chairs, you want to leave about an inch overlap on, on both sides, okay? The reason for that is you're going to utilize this to help stick those pallet wood boards to the project with some construction glue. And then if you can see here, I'll try to get close, this is piped in in between two metal pieces, okay? So there's a, a groove here, this is pretty thick, it's about an inch thick. And we're going to screw through our pallet wood right into that groove. And this fabric is going to help hold our pallet wood down. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So make sure you leave a little overlap and let's get going. All right, the first thing you wanna do is measure the width of your chair. So you wanna be able to cut your boards the right width. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and measure this out. And this particular, here, is just under 20 inches and I'm actually I like to give a little overlap so I'm going to make my boards just over 20 inches so like 20 inches and a quarter all right so here's my first board I just dropped it down and I made this 20 inches and a quarter and that's gonna give me a nice little overlap on either side which is what we want uh, when we're putting this together otherwise when we drill those screws into the wood um, it's gonna split the wood so you do need that little bit of overlap the only challenging part is this particular chair has armrests, okay? And these are soldered on, so uh, we're not gonna be able to get those off. So what we need to do is for the piece that's gonna fit here, we're gonna have to trim it down just a little bit so that it'll fit between these two armrests. So the other thing that I recommend is that you cut, uh, I cut four pallet woods, pallet wood boards, in half right down the middle with a table saw. And the reason I did that is because my chair that I have has this beautiful curve here that's very comfortable when you sit on it. But if I didn't cut this one in half, it's gonna not have the same nice feel to it that it did before. And there's also a curve down here. So I'm gonna cut uh, some more pallet uh, boards in half down the middle uh, so that they will curve nicely around those edges. The other thing that you want to measure is the space where you're going to drill your screw holes because you have a very narrow little spot in here. I'll go back and show that to you. I can peel it up here. There's a very narrow groove right in here that I need to get that, that screw head between two pieces of metal. So what I'm doing is I'm putting, uh, I have a metal ruler here, carpenter's ruler. I'm putting that right on the edge up against here uh, because I want my screw heads and my screw tips to fit right in between there and then down here okay and it's just a hair past 19 inches is where I want to put my pilot holes on my board so when I'm putting when I'm doing some pilot holes on my boards I'm gonna make sure that it's just a hair past 19 inches uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling those in now and then I've got this uh, squaring tool that is really handy because you can screw it down into um, an L, a 90 degree angle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure and make sure that I get it lined up exactly where I need it. Okay, there's that. And let's check this side. Okay, perfect. So I've already got it set up at the exact measurement. And the benefit of this is now all I gotta do, get that board off there, is put this on here. Oops, let me get my pencil. Put this on here, and then I can draw a little line here, 
and I know that that's where I need to drill my pilot hole. I'm gonna put two per board. This over here. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling those. So I wanna give you another little tip, and that is how do you know what size of uh, you know, drill bit you need to use in order to drill your pilot holes? Well, what you wanna look at is the shank of your screw. That's this uh, flat part between the head of the screw and the actual uh, you know, cuts into the screw. So right here where my thumbnail is, is the shank of the screw. You want it to be the same diameter as that. And this one comes really, really close. If I get underneath it, you can see it's hidden. So that's, that's perfect. That's the size we want. If I go too small, it's gonna stick. If I go too, too big, then my screw's gonna be too loose and it won't uh, bite in uh, with the, the screw uh, cuts. Another tip is, you see I've got my little lines here where I'm gonna be dr drilling in uh, with my uh, pilot holes. A tip is I like to use my, my table saw table to drill holes because it's got these nice openings so I don't worry about uh, shooting and drilling holes into my workbench. So that, that's what I do and it's a great way to prevent damage and you've got a nice open space. It also is a good place uh, to knock nails loose out of pallet wood. All right, the other thing that I recommend you do after you've drilled your pilot holes is give them a little inset so that your screw heads don't stick out and possibly catch on clothing if you're building chairs for instance so i've got um, a little screw here or <laughs> a drill bit here that is about as wide as my screw head okay i know it's kind of hard to tell from the camera so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just barely go in just up to the edge of this right here and that's going to give me a nice a flat area for the head to rest inside the board. All right, so how do you put this chair together? So the first thing you're gonna need to purchase is some of this stuff. It's a Loctite PL400, okay? This is a contractor's construction adhesive. It can be, it's mainly used for like subfloors, but it also is used for outdoor applications. Really good stuff, it sticks to metal, it sticks to fabric, wood, whatnot. So that's what we're using to, to put it all together. You're gonna need to get uh, one of these handy tubes, uh, you know, with the cranks so that you can uh, squirt that out. Now let me flip it around and I'll show you how I'm putting this on. All right, so we've got our chair here. I've got most of it already put together, but what I do is I, I take some of my Loctite and I just squirt a little bit of it uh, on the edges. Try not to get, <laughs> this got a little messy down here because my glue's coming to the ends, uh, but, but try not to get too much over on the metal or it'll squirt out and then you'll be able to see it on the sides. Uh, but you just squirt a little bit and then uh, you put your wood down on top of that and then um, I'm putting my, my screws in here and just screwing those down. So pretty easy stuff. <laughs> 